welcome, welcome viewers. Uh, Proverbs, I want us to share, I, I, I want to share the word of God with you from the book of Proverbs 22, verse 29. Uh, the Bible says, do you see a man diligent and skillful in his business? He will stand before kings, he will not stand before obscure men. And uh, we were talking about greatness, and I want to continue from where I left. You know, for you to tap to greatness, you must be skillful enough. You must package yourself, you must sharpen your skills. If it's in your business, what skills are you supposed to apply for your business to prosper? If you are a minister of God, what are you supposed to do? As a minister of God, it's expected of you to be a dig of the word of God. You must dig deep to the word of God. You must be a prayerful person. If it's in business, what are you supposed to do? You must package your goods in a different way. You must package your goods different from how your neighbors are packaging them. So for you to be great in your area of specialization, it's expected of you to be skillful enough. When you go to the book of 2 Timothy 2.15, let me just pick it, 2 Timothy 2.15. Second Timoth 2.15. The second Timoth 2.15, the Bible says, uh, study and uh, be diligent to present yourself approved to God. A worker who does not need to be ashamed. Be diligent, be skillful, be a man of character. If you are a man of God, to present yourself approved to God and not only to God alone. You have to, be, you have to present yourself approved even before men. How do you walk? How do you talk? How do you acquaint your words? You must present yourself approved to God and also to men. A worker who does not need to be ashamed. Don't be this kind of minister who stands before people and start, uh, start telling them stories. You must have something, substance, to impact lives. Be because when men come to you, they are expecting to receive from you. So you must be a, a good worker who does not need to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of the truth. Rightly dividing the word of the truth. And for you to uh, be lifted to this level where you can be able to divide the word of the truth well, you must be a Bible reader. You must be a Bible reader. If you are a minister of God, you must be a Bible reader. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 119 to 1 that the unfolding of the word of God brings light. Remember you are the light of the world. People are expecting to see light through you. People are expecting to see light through you. In the same books, 119 says the word of God is the path, is the lamp of your path is the lamp of your path and the light of your feet. That is Psalms 119.105. So for you to be that great man in your area of specialization, you must present yourself well and be diligent. So to continue with the same, I want to take you back to the book of uh, Romans 1.11. I want to dig deep there. Romans 1.11. Romans 1.11, the Bible says, For I long to see you that I may impart to you spiritual gift. I long to see you that I may impart to you spiritual gift so that you may be established. To be a great man, you need a mentor. Mm -hmm. That's why Elisha had Elijah. Bonus few. <laughs> Uh, John came before Christ. Actually, uh, John acted as a mentor of Jesus Christ. Timothy had Paul, and that's what the Bible is saying. That uh, for a long, uh, Paul is trying to write to the Church of Rome that he wants to see them, that he may impart to them a spiritual gift. Paul had a heart of elevating this man. He wanted this man to be great. He wanted this man to be lifted to his level so that they may operate at a past uh, level. And the Bible continues to say, so that they may be established. Your, established will your establishment will come when you work with a mentor. Yes. 
Your establishment will come when you walk with them. And don't be those kind of people who say they can do everything. They don't want to be guided. They don't want to be instructed. That is pride. That is pride. That is pride. So you must subject yourself to a mentor who will rebuke you, who will correct you, who will show you the way if you want to, to walk in greatness. If you want to walk in greatness, bonus fewer. And we saw the case of the sons of, uh, of the prophets. These guys used to tell Elisha that his master is going to be taken away. And they knew he was a great man. They knew the kind of man Elijah was. But they failed to tap from his anointing. They failed to tap from his greatness. And Elisha just came from nowhere and he took everything. And they were amazed when Elijah, Elisha went to part the river Jordan. They said, oh, and the spirit of this, of Elijah is working in this man. Yes. And they were left without nothing. They were left without nothing. So it's upon you when you, go, when you are walking under a mentor, be a respectful person. Yes. So that you may tap from them, so that you may draw from their well. Mm -hmm. Don't dig your own, your own wells. The platform has been yeah. set. Yeah. The, flat bonus, the platform has been set. The price has been paid. You don't need to pay it. You don't need to pay it. You must walk under their grace. Mm -hmm. Don't dig your own wells. Mm -hmm. Don't dig your own wells. Yes. And uh, in the Bible we see, there's, we see many characters yes. yes. who yes. are great. David, yeah. we see Samuel, mm. we see Solomon, he was also great. We see Paul in the New Testament. We have uh, apostles, the servants of uh, the disciples of Jesus. They were also great men and they walked. Actually, the, the, the disciples of Jesus, they walked under the mentorship of Jesus Christ. And through that mentorship, they learned how to pray. Yes, One day he asked them, Father, how can you teach us how to pray? And he gave them a guideline on how to pray. He gave them a prayer. Jesus, Jesus released it. Eh? Yeah, Jesus he released, released that it. Grace of yeah, Thank that you. grace of prayer. Mm. And and we see, and we see when Jesus left, the apostles continued with the good work which Jesus had started. Mm. And even they did even One great, as few. greater and much. They did greater indeed. things and much. Yes. So you have to be an mentor. Mm. You have to learn from them. You have to walk under them, mm. and you must obey every instruction which they give you. Mm. Praise the name of the living Amen. God. So Thank the you. second thing which I want to emphasize is prayer. Mm. Book, the book of Luke 18 says, every man ought to pray. If you are a man, it's expected of you to pray. Because you cannot be great without, minus prayer. prayer yes. You cannot be great minus prayer. You must be a man of secret place. You must hide yourself. You mm. must find time for retreats and pray. You must find time to commune with Elohim himself. Because greatness is tapped through prayer. It comes through prayer. Mm. It comes only through prayer. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So you must so learn pray. how to pray. Yes. And I think and the reason why mm. Jesus used to, to, pray, to, a lot. to pray a lot mm. and also to go in a secret place is to shout. I think, you know, people don't like when people are praying a loud voice. But I think this man had uh, enough tenacity to push it mm. until morning. Yeah. And uh, he said you are supposed to pray uh, the minimal hours mm. to pray is one hour. One hour. If you have been praying below one hour, you must check yourself very well. And pray you must more. Check, you must ask for grace yes. to pray the more. Pray. So mm. be a man of prayer. You be a man of prayer. You can preach and miss it, but you cannot pray and miss it. Yes. Well, I, from what I'm, I, also prayer takes you to another level. Yeah. Speaking of prayer, maybe you can just finalize with praying with us so that because of time, maybe you can just pray for those that would desire to be great and just pray with them. Yes. Okay. Mm. So because of time, I mm. want us to pray. Mm. If you want to walk in this grace of greatness, mm. uh, let's believe together mm. and pray. Father, we bless you. 
we thank you for this uh, time which you have granted unto us. Mm. We thank you, Father, because of everything which you have done to us this morning. Yes. Father, we pray for our viewers, wherever they are. May you touch them. May you give mm. them grace of greatness, my Father. Mm. May you be with them and may you uphold them. Teach them how to be great. Teach them how to walk in greatness mm. and teach them where to tap that greatness, Lord. Father, we pray for them. Those who are sick, Father, we pray that you may heal them. Yes. Those who are passing through many issues, Father, may you come in for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor Bob. Head over to his social and interact with him, Pastor Bob Robert, mm -hmm. across all social media.